So in the previous videos, we converted the text box, I mean the chat, to use a multi-line text box. And something that I never changed that ended up causing a problem, which is why I'm redoing this video again, is if we go to our chat message, which is this one here. Uh, when we changed it to use a different uh, type of text box, we ended up getting this error when we try to compile. In order to fix that, we have to delete it. Drag it out again, and we're going to drag, delete this and drag out and do set text, and it's set text multi-line text box. So that differs from the normal text box. Then we can compile, save, and close it. So what I forgot to do in the previous video when I said I we were pretty much done with the chat, I forgot two things. Uh, one is when we send a chat. We don't have any way to see our uh, who sent it as well as you can actually edit this text granted you can't with mine because i already changed it and i forgot to undo it for this video but the way to ch change that is you go to chat message scroll down to visibility by default it'll be visible you just change that to not hit testable self and all children compile and save and you can no longer edit it so now we need to make it so it shows the name of the person who sent the text. So to do that, we need to first assign the name. So on the Beacon client, we're going to make, just like we did with the get and set index, we're going to make two functions to set and get the player name. So we're going to do void set player name, f or const f string as a reference, set or new player name. And we're going to do a f string get player name. I create a new variable up here. It's going to be f string player name. So in set player name, simply going to just set new player name to equal player name. Simple as that. So player name equals new player name and get player name is going to return player name. Like so. So now in the beacon host object, we go to on client connected. You'll see where we set the player index. We're gonna do the exact same thing, but for the player name, which we've already constructed. So client set player name player name that's the variable up here that we created so now that we have the name set back in the client we go to uh, the implementation for when we send messages right now right here on the server because that's where we're changing and setting the name this is where we're going to alter the message so what we're going to do is we're going to do player name plus colon space plus the chat message and that's going to be our new message so now we need to convert that to an f text so f text from string and what we're converting from is the string we're converting is message and now we should be able to good to go on the client so we can go ahead and compile and then we're going to have to make a slight change in blueprint to make it work for the host. Because as currently, we don't have any actual player names set up. So I'm just going to make it use host for the uh, sender. So I'm going to go ahead and go over there. So we'll go to the graph and our send chat message function. Right, we've compiled. It did not hot reload, so I'm gonna to have to restart the editor, probably, or just test outside, it doesn't matter. Where we have our send chat to lobby, this is called on our server, so we have our host beacon object. But we want to alter the chat message that we're sending into it to include host at the beginning. So we're gonna take the chat message, we're gonna convert it to a string, we're gonna make a string. What we're gonna do in this one is we're gonna put host colon space. Then the return value, we're going to take it, we're going to append, and we're going to append the message to our 
string we just made and connect it to chat message. Compile and save. So now when we test outside the editor, there's also another bug that I noticed. I think it happened when we were cleaning up our widget. <clears throat> our widget. So we no longer see our person here. So let's do a test message. You can see it starts with host and host message. Let's connect on the client. Now let's just send that. So player one, this is my message, blah, blah, blah. And it shows it accordingly. Like so. So we are good to go there. Uh, it's going to be one small change that we make to our lobby chat when we do commit. I want to clear this text box out. So when we do send chat message, we're going to take our text box and we're going to let's see set text. We're just going to set it to empty. So we can just test that real quick in the editor. Press enter. Yeah. So that's good to go. So we now can see who sent the message, at least for testing until we set up our actual um, names and stuff like that of the, well, our actual player names. But that'll be something to do when we actually start working on our web API and our masters, well, for our master server. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of for this video. So. The next one, we're going to fix that name issue not coming up up here. So I will see you then.